Sam Shepard. Back in the early 80s, I, I shot a film, uh, which some of you may have seen, called The Right Stuff. In, um, <laughs> thanks. In the Mojave Desert out in California. And uh, when I got the script, in fact, one of the main reasons I did it was that there was this great chase scene at the beginning on horseback, galloping. And uh, that the character I was playing was chasing his wife horseback across the desert, you know, figurating through the, the uh, cactus and stuff. And I thought, that was, wow, it's great, I'll do that. And at the time, I w was still trying to make an honest living. I, w I, I had a couple of rope horses and I was team roping and doing jackpots and stuff like that. And I thought, well, I'll use one of my horses, which you know I got along with very well. I had a, a roan gelding um, called Roni. And I thought, this is a nice horse, you know, I can get along with him. So I went to the director, long story short, and said, could I use my own horse in this sequence? And he said, sure, bring him. Uh, not being a horseman himself. So first day of shooting, I show up on the set out in the Mojave with my horse trailer and my horse and my truck. And I'm not met by the director, I'm met by the head wrangler and the stuntman, uh, two legendary guys. Uh, the stunt guy is called Choo Choo Chambers. You probably never heard of him, but it, he was called that because he had a fetish about trains. And uh, the head wrangler was Corky Randall, who kind of descends from about three generations. Anyway, that's a side issue. But they're, they're, they're real guys, okay? So I step out of the truck, and Corky steps out. Immediately, I understand there's a little attitude thing here. You know, he says, uh, we understand you we want to use your own horse. <laughs> so, uh, is it okay? <laughs> you know, it's, I mean, I like the horse, you know, I get along with it. The problem with it is that he's a red roan horse. And I said, what's the matter? Well, we don't have anything to double you. In other words, they don't have a horse that looks like this horse, so that when the stunt comes, they can put the stunt man on the horse that looks like my horse, and they'll be all right. And I said, well, shoot, I'd still like to use this horse, because I really, you know, I insisted like an idiot. And <laughs> So Choo Choo says, well, is it okay if I get up on your horse and see what he's like? And I said, sure. Yeah. So he gets up and he goes off and he does figure eights and circles, backs him up a little bit and stops him. And the horse is fine. He's great. You know, he gets off and he says, it's okay. But I just want to tell you, you know, we have a serious stunt to do in this and the insurance company is not going to let you do it because, first of all, you can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is... Which is true, and <laughs> um, anyway, he said, okay, well, 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 we'll see if we can get along with your horse and we'll do it, I said, okay. So next day I show up and we do the galloping sequence, which is beautiful and everything works great. We, uh, everybody loves the dailies, the footage, you know, it looks good and I'm chasing my wife through the desert and it's all picturesque. And um, comes time for the stunt. So this is a pretty hellacious stunt. It involves my character. I mean, in, in a film, you don't notice that it's not me because they hide behind hats and everything. Choo Choo is chasing my wife, and he heads toward the saguaro cactus, which I don't know if you guys are familiar with it being in. The, <laughs> They're gigantic cactus. They're the biggest cactus on earth. You've probably seen them on the cover of Arizona highways or something. They look like big green men, you know. They have arms like this. So he's supposed to crash into this cactus and get knocked out of it, flips out of the saddle and gets his leg caught in the stirrup 
uh, which is all part of the stunt, and then dragged about 25 yards and the stirrup breaks away and he's fine, he's safe and everything, but the stunt looks horrendous. And the way they do it is they cut the arm of the cactus off and they shave off all the spines and everything so that the stuntman doesn't get them in his face. And they put a, a balsa wood dowel in the arm that's saw, sawed about a quarter of the way through and they stick it back. This is the scientific part here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I try to work all that stuff in, you know. <laughs> and then they stick the arm back onto the body of the cactus, the main body of the cactus, and to the untrained eye, you can't tell that it's not a real cactus. So anyway, when he hits the arm of this cactus, it snaps off because the dowel's in there and it breaks free, and, and it looks as though he's actually hit the cactus, where in fact it's, it's nothing, you know. And he, then he does his stunt, and it's all over. Well, anyway, Choo Choo gets up on Roni, and uh, he lopes out there to do the stunt, and I'm really kind of anxious about it. And uh, he, what, what we call over and under, he takes the split reins and he goes over and under with him, and he breaks him out into a wide open gallop. He's headed straight toward the saguaro cactus. And as he's approaching the last few yards to accomplish this stunt, the horse looks down and he sees a big black electric cable about the diameter is about like that, which runs from the generators back to the lights. And he knows that that's not supposed to be in the desert. And he thinks maybe it's a snake. I don't know what he thinks. But old Roni leaves the ground in mid, like all four legs come up <laughs> away from this cable and consequently smashes directly into the trunk of the cactus, missing the arm completely. Um, Choo Choo flips out of the saddle, uh, but rather than breaking loose from the stirrup, he's dragged maybe 150 yards <laughs> through really rough terrain. Uh, I've, I'm, of course, completely aghast at this. I'm watching it live and everything. He goes to the hospital. He, um, he lost half an ear. Uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> to this day, he only has half an ear. And, uh, but these guys are what they call blood and guts stuntmen, and this is the reason they're called that. Uh, he broke three ribs, um, broken collarbone, dislocated his hip and had serious lacerations. And it never, I'm completely, um, I, I can't believe it. I go visit him in the hospital. And this is part of a stuntman's bread and butter, you know, I mean, they spend a lot of time in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I go, <laughs> I go in. And he's all bandaged up and he's laying there and his you know, limbs are this way and that and everything. And I apologize deeply for the horse's behavior. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he said, you know, being a good guy that he is, he says, ah, these things happen, you know, Sam. He says, but you know, I'll tell you what, that might be a nice team roping horse but he can't dodge a cactus for shit. <laughs> so, that was virtually the last time I uh, tried to use my own livestock. And uh, it was a lesson well learned, you know, but uh, that's pretty much the only accident that I have on, in the scientific area. <laughs> Sam Shepard. <laughs>